It's the Visit My Smokies Funcast for the first full week in October, which means yet another fall color update. We are now getting reports of some color around Douglas Lake. Elevations above 5,000 feet showing splashes of color in some of the early fall starters like the yellow birch, American beech, witch hobble. The most notable color can be seen along the forest floor in the fall wildflower display. Goldenrod, purple aster, jewelweed, all in abundance along the road shoulders. And all that great video that you just saw, they're part of our Insider's View segments. From the main menu, click Insider's View and just type Fall into the video search box. And you really should bookmark our ultimate guide to fall color. From the main menu, just click Things to Know and then search Fall Color Guide. And I'm your Smoky Mountain meteorologist, that leaf-peeping Paul Poteet. Okay, stop me if you've heard this one before. Bear walks in to a restaurant, (laughs) to a steakhouse. In fact, actually, the bear walks onto the patio at Howard Steakhouse in Gatlinburg, and it ended without incident, although not without some onion rings. And, of course, some of the diners were taking videos. (laughs) So, if you want to see that video, you need to visit... Our story in the Things to Know section of VisitMySmokies.com. Hey, guy, it's the Wild Boar Saloon, not the Wild Bear Saloon. We shouldn't have as many sightings this year. There's more food apparently available in the park this time around compared to uh, last year. But always give those bears uh, plenty of room. Same advice uh, when it comes to the elk rut, which is going on right now in the uh, Cataloochee Valley. Now, the shocking story of the dual life of Cades Cove, one of the Great Smoky Mountains National Park's most popular locations. you got the views, the historic buildings, the wildlife, but what many people don't know is Cades Cove, also one of the best spots for stargazing. It usually isn't open to visitors after dark, but... There's an exception for the annual Cades Cove Star Party, which is Saturday, October 8th, totally free, open to anyone and everyone. Click Things to Know and search Cades Cove Stargazing. And it would be helpful to have some nice weather for that star party. Looks good so far. Not as hot, even. Till then, we're above average, but not uncomfortable. Nighttime temps in the 50s, uh, we can deal with that. And the uh, daytime highs and the warm low 80s, the area now into a drought situation. So it could use some rain, but it certainly makes the planning easier when you visit MySmokies.com.